Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. It's been a lot of weird news lately. If you go about halfway down the page, figuratively speaking, you'll often encounter stories that make sense, but are a little unusual. And once in a while you hit one where you go, that's something I hadn't thought of, but it makes sense. Americans are driving less because of what's happening lately, and that's hurting red light camera revenue. No one's going to mind this story one bit. Graham Rapier wrote it for Business Insider, and we're talking about the cameras that catch you if you run a red light or something, or if you are speeding. Sometimes they do that as well. Primarily, we're talking about red light cameras here, though. And, you know, Michigan doesn't have them, and some states don't, but many states do. And apparently, they also have them in Canada. And so there's a company called Redflex. A company that operates red light cameras in the U.S. and Canada says that revenues are down as people drive less. Interesting. In Pennsylvania, road construction has been halted amid this uh, crazy times we're living in, further hurting Red Flex's revenue. So what's weird about this, we mentioned before that with people driving less, some insurance companies are not going to start refunding some of the premiums they've been collecting because if you're driving less, there's fewer accidents, fewer claims. And so why not? So they're actually going to do it. So three or four big companies have announced they're refunding some of the premiums. And I've done videos on that. But now, with people driving less, it seems that revenue's down, fewer cars on the road, and the ones that are on the road are probably driving a little bit better, I would hope. So as Americans stay home to help slow the spread, they're driving fewer miles. That's great news for everyone because air pollution is falling, crashes are down, there's no blood pressure-inducing congestion. We do have some people driving a little bit over the speed limit because... They never could before and are curious what it's like. But generally speaking, these are all good things on traffic questions, right? Well, almost everything. For the companies that operate drivers' most hated devices, the red light cameras, this is causing problems. Red Flex is an Australian company that operates traffic safety programs. That's their euphemism for it. In roughly 100 U.S. and Canadian cities. They've now warned that less traffic and suspended construction will be a stress on its balance sheet. In other words, it'll make less money this year. Approximately 15% of group revenue is dependent on volume-based contracts, the company said, in a regulatory filing on Monday. And I have people ask me all the time, they say, Steve, how do people know what's happening inside a company? Well, the company's publicly traded. They issue annual reports and quarterly reports and all kinds of different reports. And those reports are given out and people read them and they find stuff in there. So the Wall Street Journal dug through Red Flex's report and found this quote that says, we anticipate our revenue from these contracts will be impacted broadly in line with the reduction in traffic volumes as well as the duration of the disruption. Shares of Red Flex, which trades in Australia, are down 46% since the beginning of the year. They've lost almost half their value since the beginning of the year. On a call with Investors Monday, Red Flex CEO Mark Talbot warned that further travel restrictions could delay new installations and also, therefore, impact revenues even further. He said so far there have been no terminations to contracts. Uh, this is according to a transcript that somebody released. We are, of course, undertaking cost initiatives where possible, to mitigate the impact of reductions or risk of delay. In addition, the board and executive team will be taking a reduction in compensation effective April 1st for the duration of the disruption. So what we're getting at, in case you missed that, we always talk about how the CEOs, the big wigs of the big corporations, oftentimes get bonuses and so on, you know, and they're making hundreds of millions of dollars while the workers down here are only making this. And when tough times come along, the tough times often start at the bottom and work their way up and often don't even reach the upper floors of the buildings. But here, just to connect the dots for you, the upper level people at Red Flex, the makers of the traffic cameras, the scourge of the American roadway and Canadian roadway, their pay is being negatively impacted by what's happening right now. They are going to take some form of pay cut as a result. And no one cares. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> we don't feel bad for them at all. And the idea that a corporation that exists solely to harass people at the intersections of America and Canada, the fact that that company has lost almost half of its value on the Australian Stock Exchange since the beginning of this year, 
Again, no one will cry a tear for them. Not here in America, nor in Canada. <laughs> I'm so saddened to hear that Canada has got traffic cameras, red light cameras. Oh, I, I, I you know, <laughs> I don't know why. I just assumed that they wouldn't have those, but they do. But we talk about, again, like I said, all the different things, all the side effects, the fallout, the trickle down, the trickle up, what have you. There's all kinds of things happening right now. Most of it is bad, okay? The economy is disrupted, and, you know, a lot of people are ill. Many people have passed away. Uh, a lot of people are going to get ill. A lot of people are going to pass away still, probably. Uh, and so, you know, there's, there's a lot to unpack in these stories. But like I said, if you go further down the page and occasionally you spot these things that catch your eye and you realize, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense that red light camera revenue would drop as a result of what's going on. And again, like I said, I looked at it and go, that's a bright spot. That's a bright spot. <laughs> Even though I've never gotten one that is a ticket from one of these machines before. Now, like I said, the refund of the insurance premium, another small bright spot. But, you know, most of it's not good news. So when it comes to what's happening in the news lately, I do look for the bright spots. And when I find them, I bring them here. Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. The best luck of all is the luck you make for yourself.